Why did the Vikings abandon Greenland? Why did the Norse leave their prosperous colonies in southern Greenland in the early 15th century? The Little Ice Age's lower temperatures were long thought to have contributed to the colony's demise. But new study headed by UMass Amherst and published in Science Advances challenges that traditional idea. Drought, not cold weather, drove the Norse from Greenland. When the Norse came in Greenland in 985, they cleared the area of bushes and planted grass as grazing for their animals. The eastern settlement's population peaked at 2,000 people and then fell 400 years later. Anthropologists and historians believed the eastern settlement died owing to an unusually cold climate, notably in the North Atlantic, that made farming in Greenland unfeasible. Bradley and his team visited Lake 578, which is near a former Norse farm and one of the biggest agricultural groups in the eastern settlement. In the lake sediment samples, scientists found a 2,000-year record of human activity. Mr. Boyang Zhao, main author of the paper and postdoctoral research associate at Brown University, said no one has ever investigated this site before. After that, they looked for two indicators in the 2,000-year-old sample, temperature reconstruction and a lipid called BRGDGT. With enough data, you can directly correlate changes in lipid structure to changes in temperature, says Isla Castida, a UMass Amherst Geosciences professor and co-author of the work. Other livestock sustaining plants may also be tracked by measuring the amount of water they lose via evaporation using a waxy covering on their leaves. It so indicates how dry the circumstances were. It was common for Norse farmers to feed their cattle stockpiled food to keep them alive during the winter. Even in excellent years, the animals were frequently feeble and in need of assistance when it finally thawed enough in the springtime to be sent out to pasture. Drought would have had a devastating effect under such circumstances. The eastern settlement may have been unsustainable due to prolonged drought and other economic and social stresses. A team of researchers from Smith College and the University of Buffalo also contributed to the study, which was funded by the National Science Foundation. The findings challenge our understanding of early European history and highlight the importance of studying how environmental factors shape human society.